Hey there, it's Carmen with Carm3D.net, and I'm going to show you a little cloth tutorial here for making hair. Uh, well, maybe fur would be more like it, but dynamic, the dynamic kind, not the auto kind, because I want my hair to flop around with real physics. So uh, let me first go to Modeler and show you what I'm doing here. I got uh, different layers. Here's the ball, and here's a single hair. And this this hair was generated with random cloner, although you could probably use uh, fiber effects for that too. But uh, I'm going to extrude this so we can see. Wait, I think I have to select it first. I guess I can't extrude in perspective. Oh, here it goes. I'm going to show you the weight maps I have on here. Okay. Okay, here's the hold map I have. Uh, this is going to be using hold structure. Let's jump back to light wave. Hold structure right there. It's it's hidden because it's obscured rather because I have Yeah, this interface is goofy. Anyway, let's go back to modeler. Okay, so that's the hold. It it starts off very high. This is like uh, 500, and then the next one up is 100, and then 50, and then uh, I, I think maybe 20 or something like that. And this is all zero. Okay, and I got uh, collision, and these are all 100. These these two are zero. Basically, uh, I have collision on the ball preventing the hair from flopping through the ball, but I don't want it perturbing these this first segment here. So uh, let's see what else I got here. That's it. I also made a linear version of the hold, although I'm not going to use that one. And this one starts at 100 and ends at 0. So let's go back to light wave layout. And um, okay, you can see that uh, I made a separate surface name for the root. I, it's got that you know single point polygon at the root that you're supposed to have for fiber effects or Sasquatch. So I called that the root surface. So we're setting that for fixed. And then uh, I got my hold weight map set here. I set the uh, the value for 500. The base value is zero, and uh, collision detection is using the collision weight map, and I have a uh, five percent stretch limit because I don't want the hair to stretch down like it's made out of rubber, but uh, I don't want to turn out down too far because the less lower this number is, the longer it takes to calculate gravity, and uh, I don't think I touched any of these. Okay. So let's do a calculation. Okay, it's interesting, and it's pretty much what I'm after, but there is a weirdness to it. Let's take a closer look. See, when the hair flops down, it's doing a weird thing where it comes out at this angle and then it changes direction for the general curve of the the hair affected by the gravity plus it's the hold is resisting it from flopping down completely like a wet noodle and why is that happening well the reason is is because this point right here the root has a hold uh, excuse me, it's fixed. It's not affected by dy dynamics whatsoever. And then everything after that is affected by hold. So the hold direction is pulling it down here, but the fix is pushing it back to where it used to be. So we could do that, but it would it would have that weird kink at the root. But there is another option, and I just stumbled across this recently. And let's take a look.
what I could do is turn off fixed, which generally pe people don't think to do when you're dealing with hair because obviously they want it to stick into the scalp. But the hold structure is 500. So it's it's going to wiggle around a little bit, but it's going to pretty much stay where it's supposed to be. So let's do a calculation and see what kind of a difference that yields. You can see it's much more of a smoother curve there. And as we scrub through, I don't think this will be too noticeable with the roots wiggling around a little bit. I mean, there's one way to find out to render it, but keep in mind the roots are going to be obscured by the bulk of the hair, which is pushed out away from the surface. So, um... I don't know, something that might might help you out if you were trying to go for this effect, if you're trying to make like a, a Muppet or something like that, where you want the hair to be stiff at the base and then fall limp at the ends. So, that's it. Enjoy.